Hi guys, um, I'm gonna do my best to attempt to show you how I made the ramp in uh, my previous videos that I uploaded um, from my hamster cage. Uh, so they're for your bin cages. If you have like store-bought cages that are like habit trails, etc., uh, the modular ones, uh, they're probably not gonna fit inside. Um, the shelf that I have, well, you could do it with something else, but the shelf that I have is ex a little bit over one square feet. Uh, so store-bought cages are generally one square feet, all inclusive. So it's probably not going to fit inside. Uh, bin cages are a great, great uh, investment. Uh, this thing is only $19, including taxes. The Velcro one pack, $5, will make four Vel uh, bottle holders. So this is two fifty. And that's 250 the other side goes on your bottle the bottles depending on what you want five dollars for plastic and ten dollars for glass um, food dishes usually range between 50 cents if you get them at getting them at uh, thrift stores or a dollar or so at the dollar store uh, up to two to five dollars depending on what you're getting uh, these ones are two dollars they're from Daiso these ones are three dollars they're in um, the regular section of a grocery store that I buy stuff at and I recently just picked up these ones these ones are one dollar so I definitely will be going with these ones now um, so anyway um, as you can see it's not much not too much space after the wheels are there and stuff uh, so what I'm attempting to do is to free up some floor space uh, so floor space that thing takes up about one quarter of a square feet so if I was to move that off they'll have a whole square feet of empty space and I can do some other stuff like make some other toys uh, which is actually on the menu I am going to be doing that but anyway I'm going to show you guys how I made the ramp um, so you're gonna have two of these bent and you're going to I've already separated because this is for the bottom support but I'm just gonna show you what you're gonna do you're just going to give me one sec because I'm doing this one-handed okay so you want it about at least a half an inch away from the end. Even one inch is fine. Just don't do it too near the center, otherwise it won't work either. Uh, so make sure you have like a gap. So one on this side and one over here. So you're gonna do that and you're gonna twist it once. And by that I just mean, can you see it? Just once, just until they crisscross. So you're gonna have them looking like this. You're gonna twist them just once. Do not over twist because otherwise you use up all of your um, pipe cleaner and you won't have enough. Um, so you're going to keep doing that. And uh, let me see about this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to do about eight of these rods, um, these dowels, um, before you're going to need to add a pipe cleaner. Um, so how are you going to add a pipe cleaner? I'm going to try and show you. Um, so you're going to use eight of the colored ones in my case anyway you're gonna need ten pipe cleaners uh, two for the bottom the support uh, so that's why I decided because mine came with colored ones so I just tried to make it so they looked you know uniform so I'm picking white to be my supports um, so as you can see I have two more pairs of purple so that means I have to do two more sets of this stuff so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and do this so I've got got to the last point and I cannot add another dowel to this thing. So I'm going to put this in here like that, okay? This thing's going to come over. Does that make sense? And then you're just going to twist it on. So give me one sec. So I've twisted it on and you just keep twisting it, okay? Like that. Give me one sec, guys. So once you've twisted it on, fold this back down, okay? And just really make sure you push it towards the center of the dowel so that it doesn't catch on to them. So you've added one of your pipe cleaners. So you're going to proceed to continue doing this. So your next section. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish up this, and then I'm going to show you how I attached it to... Um, no, sorry, I'm going to show you how I attach these things to the back. Okay, guys?